Alright, welcome back to the next part of wiring up the ECU. Just had a big day of um, welding on a Virax exhaust onto my cousin's FG. That video will be coming out probably before this one or before any of this ECU series will, I'd say. Right, I decided to set myself up a little bit more off camera. Got PC link back up so I can see where all the default um, schematics are. Makes it easier for me when setting up, also easier for my tuner. Whether he continues on with my base map that I'm going to try and do, or if he starts fresh, all of his base maps should have all the same stuff. Regardless, I'm going to all write it all down. So it's easy to go through in case I'm not there at the time for whatever reason. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get into it now. Start wiring up shit. You also got the um, the aircon um, relay here that I can use to turn it on. But yeah, we'll time lapse it from this point on. So, I've wired most of the TPS of what I can. What I'm starting to do now is just put crimps on the ends of the, they're called AN volts, which is basically the signal wires for, we got map sensor, um, oil pressure, TPS, fuel pressure. So, most of these I've got to run new looms for. So, all I'm doing is just putting a bit of heat shrink on it ready, crimping one end, so that's already a bit of tape waving what it is, it also stops the heat shrink from going past. So then they're all set up and ready. Um, there's also five volt outputs, which is this uh, red blue wire, sorry, is this one here. This is gonna have four or five wires going to it, all getting five volts. Um, this one here is the sensor ground for all those, you know, map sensor, oil pressure, fuel pressure, TPS, um, I think IAT, ISC, coolant temp, 
We'll have them as well, I think, from memory. This is going to have quite a fair few wires going to it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm just going to splice them all together or if I'm going to rig up a connector block for them. Um, you guys will find out as I suss it out pretty much. But yeah, that's a bit of a rundown of what I'm doing at the moment. I'm going to time lapse you guys again while I keep going and wait till I get to the next point and we'll have a chat again. measurements um, from there to the firewall which uh, if you guys saw the last video that this tape bunch here is where I go for a firewall so I know how long I need them in the field and then from this point I can measure it to where they go to here then that will be that um, yeah I need to refill my drink so I'm going to do that and you probably noticed the two dipshits behind me for the last half an hour or whatever carrying on um, yeah, I'm going to go refill my drink come back out here and keep going alright refilled my drink going to get on to the coils so I think what can I do Ignition 1 to 4 is on this A-worm. Um, I don't remember what I said in the previous videos, even though the last one was yesterday. I don't remember. Um, I know I remember I found out that the plugs on there were the LS3s, but the same as L98, LS2 and LS7. So I'm going to just hunt down any 6 litre coils, so I'm just going to wipe them in. Um, is what it is regardless 
I've got to either buy plugs and rewire it in for LS1 calls and fly an LS1 calls or buy IGN1As and change plugs to them or the LS2 so I'll just wire them in. They're on a breakout harness anyway, it's got to do it your plug on there that connects in the engine bay so I can at least get it out to the to the engine bay here and yeah we'll see how it goes connected up well the first floor anyway for this loom um, I'm gonna head over to the barbecue and do some heat shrinking again then come back to it all and continue on with what else I can so yeah I'll get back to you guys when I'm back so it's been a uh, bit of a time since I said I was going over and Heat shrinking, if that's the last time you saw me, I don't remember. Um, I'm gonna call it quits here. I need to really run the um, crank and cam angle sensor in the engine bay, like I said, I was gonna do in the last video. Didn't get a chance to do that today. Um, but I've wired pretty much everything I can, separated the loom, labeled everything, and in the A loom. Um, and then I was just basically nutting out a lot of what the different wires where they need to go and whatnot, and setting up more inputs and outputs in the PC Link software. Um, so I'm going to finish it up there, going to go have dinner, it's pretty much 9 o'clock now. Um, once again, not very interesting video, but if you're here, you're along for the journey. Yeah, appreciate you guys sticking it out if you're still here. Um, yeah, give us a like, comment, subscribe, continue watching this journey, and hopefully, we'll see this ECU in the car. Maybe another two or three videos, I think. I think might even next time, I might not even film when I'm working on it. I might just come out and just crack away with it, just get it done. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>